Good evening, Tessitore community! Welcome to TN Inspire! Good evening, everyone. My name is Reynaldi Lindner Lolong. I'm the Associate Director of Marketing from the Public Theater. This is Creative Gratitude, or How Rainbow Dash Saved Christmas. I'd like to begin by asking everyone just a couple questions. First of all, raise your hand if you consider yourself to be a creative person. And raise your hand if you have a team back home who's keeping the ship afloat while you are here. And finally, raise your hand if you're familiar with this term, surprise and delight. The idea of unexpectedly acknowledging thanks to someone, usually a donor. But what does this look like if we use it on the people we work with every day? The public theater has a staff of approximately 180 people, and almost all of us admin artistic production are under one roof. And we work together, but we don't really understand each other as departments. We wanted to find a way to change that. The idea was called public kudos. You know, you do something good and someone says, kudos to you for that. Every department was tasked with showing a public display of kudos or congratulations to another department. Think of it as an institutional-wide experiment in surprise and delight. But instead of thanking our patrons, we were thanking each other. And the results were astounding. Every department went above and beyond the call of duty. Joe's Pub, which is our cabaret space, hosted marketing for a luau. Our special artistic projects department threw a lightsaber Star Wars party for our lighting department. Marketing did a pop-up tea party for literary. Our restaurant treated the housekeeping staff to a catered lunch. The operations team sent the restaurant staff on an Easter egg hunt. The executive assistants showered development with chocolate coins and a giant oversized novelty check. Our producing department then surprised the executive assistants with a dance party complete with disco ball and strobe lights. Our audio department donated a piano to one of our community programs to take on the road with them. This next example is my favorite. Our scenic department sent out a press release talking about how amazing our press department was. I love the attention to detail, like casting to be announced at a later date. <laughs> when all is said and done, every single department had participated. We are so used to celebrating the big moments. You launch a website, you close a major gift, you break a box office record. This was about celebrating the work we do every day and the people who do it that don't always get to take that acknowledgement. December of last year, my supervisor and I wanted to find a way to celebrate our team. It had not been our best quarter, we were stressed, but we wanted to end on a good note. So we added to everyone's calendar 10 a.m. marketing project check-in, Friday before Christmas. <laughs> Nothing says Ebenezer Scrooge more than this. <laughs> Except that our team was not coming to a project check-in, they were actually coming to, wait for it, a My Little Pony painting party. <laughs> it is exactly what it sounds like. We bought My Little Ponies, they even came with hairbrushes, craft supplies, bagels, and everyone just went nuts. You have never seen such excited people. They colored their hair. One of them took their pony into the bathroom to give it like a proper like hair dryer, blow dryer job. <laughs> they named them. This one on the left is Ice Queen. That's spelled K-W-E-E-N. She has ice powers. If you read Sweet Valley Twins, mine was named Lila Fowler. As the cliche goes, ponies, $4.99. Craft supplies, $10. The look on everyone's face when they find out that this is what they get to do before the holidays? Priceless. I know it's only Monday, and I'm sure we're already working on all of our to-do lists for when we get back home. Everything is important. Everything is a priority. But I'm going to challenge all of you to take some time for what I like to think of as creative gratitude. We are all here because we are creative people, but sometimes our jobs don't let us express that. And we are all here because we have an amazing team back home, but we don't always take the time to say thank you for that. But when the opportunity for creativity and the opportunity for gratitude come together, it is a chance to make something beautiful. Thank you. Thank you.